Starting Wednesday, you can register to take a ride on a self-driving bus down the streets of Taipei. Limited road tests began earlier this year on Taipei Xinyi Road. Results are good and developers say the bus is now ready for the general public. Let's take a look. This self-driving bus brings itself to a stop if it detects a pedestrian up ahead. The 9 meter long vehicle is equipped with 9 cameras enabling accurate object detection, as well as 2 optical radars for precise geolocation. The interior can accommodate 34 people. A passenger boarding the bus takes a fall. Cameras inside the bus can detect the accident and report it instantaneously to the monitoring station. Supported by physical behavior detection technology and the low latency of 5G, remote personnel can monitor safety on the bus. Working with the Taipei city government, a domestic telecoms company is building a full 5G ecosystem for unmanned vehicles. 5G can be applied at smart intersections for self-driving cars, providing better results for the road safety programs of driverless buses. The test launch of the new driverless bus will be a great help to testing the maturity of our technical proficiencies. Networks are used to set the standards for self-driving cars and smart transport. When newer mobile networks become the standard for autonomous vehicles, there is a great reduction in the cost of self-driving cars. Safety operators can switch the bus mode from manual to automatic. And with that, the vehicle can navigate a preset route without human guidance. Earlier this year, Taipei city government began testing the bus on a limited basis, running it on Xinyi Road after midnight. Tim Wei, who runs a tech-focused YouTube channel, shared his thoughts after his test ride. The most important thing for unmanned vehicles is safety. The second is to put riders at ease. In the future, with the maturation of 5G, it will be possible to turn a privately owned passenger car into a self-driving one. I believe that we'll have the technology for that within three or four years. The driverless bus is about to start its third phase of road testing. On Wednesday, online registration for test rides will open to the general public.